So back to the video, um, I'm gonna try to do these videos in sections and try to break down as much as I can possibly about these shoes. So uh, we'll start with this first shoe. Um, this is a 2019 uh, Penny Rookie Zoom Galaxy. Um, it was a quick strike. Uh, a quick strike means like a shoe that just randomly comes out on a certain day at a certain time and then it's either like very rare or hard to get and you have to enter like some kind of a raffle or you have to put some kind of um, um, notifications to try to purchase the shoes and then um, the odds are like you won't get the shoe or the shoe will sell out instantly so it's very rare to get these shoes or have these shoes so the way I got these shoes um, I did a little bit of history to find out the background of where this shoe is kind of based out and coming from so it was released from Nike um, in 2019. So at the time I kind of was um, very interested in shoes. Um, and then this shoe was gonna like change the game for me because I needed to get my hands on it. So um, I didn't um, get the shoe when it came out, when it was released um, because uh, it was sold out like within seconds. So um, I entered a raffle on Nike and it didn't um, give me the option to win the shoe in a raffle or purchase it because it was instantly sold out um, somehow, some way. So um, I ended up just trying to find a way to find the shoe or get a hold of the shoe. Um, and it was basically impossible. There was no source. There was no um, actual um, places that had the shoe. The only place that really had the shoe was... I believe like a, a shoe store and it was like somewhere out like in Cleveland or somewhere like in like uh, New Orleans or somewhere and that store um, released them at their store only so there was no way I was gonna go out there or try to find the, the source to get it um, then there was other sources like internet um, eBay um, flight club stock X um, goat and like different um, retailers that had them for like a resale price so i kind of just gave up because i wanted the nike shock drop release but um eventually somewhere down the road um fast forward to 2022 2023 i did a lot of history on this shoe and found out that it was just so rare to get your hands on it so i kind of just took a chance uh purchased it off of a, a website um sneaker uh, resale website called flight club um, when I purchased this shoe, I think I paid like $700, $600. Um, so I was just trying to get my hands on the shoe just to see like what the quality was, what's the difference between the pairs that were surfacing on um, Nike's um, website in 2019 and photo images to compare. So when I purchased this shoe, I purchased it. It came in a, a, a Nike box. Um, it was mailed to my door. I picked it up. Um, when I opened the box, I thought the shoe was like fake uh, just because it was so flimsy and it was just so fragile and it just looked like it was just aftermarket like China. But um, as I did more um, looking into the shoe, I realized that I hadn't been in the shoe game for so long. So I kind of just um, re-looked at it and checked all the shoe, um, shoe um, material and all the... Um, things on the shoe that should be intact and it was pretty qu good quality and then I realized um, when I looked at one of the shoes on the bottom it had like a silver marking with a silver sharpie so back in the days when I was into sneakers um, collecting a lot of sneakers I would go to these outlets um, Nike outlets and um, what they would do is when they would get overstock or um, shoes that didn't sell or returned for clearance they would mark them on the bottom with the silver sharpie and those were pairs only sold through Nike or at Nike so this pair had like silver sharpie so I ended up kind of scoring on this pair and it's the actual um, shock drop pair um, so that was good um, so I just been sitting on this shoe for quite a minute so the other shoe um, it has a number one on the inside um, which is like Penny Hardaway's number, but I'm not too sure because they never made this shoe for Penny Hardaway. And um, 
the number one um, kind of resembles who the shoe was made for. But there's a lot of players that have number one, such as Jordan. So, like, I kind of think this could be like a Michael Jordan PE because he did wear a Zoom um, rookie um, in a certain game where he wore a pair of pennies. So, I don't know if they kind of made this for that. And he was a rookie, his number one. Um, Jersey when he was a rookie for Carolina so I'm not too sure who they made this for but um, when you do take this off it does show the Penny Hardaway sign so it could be Penny's um, shoe but I'm not too sure um, what they based the shoe off of but yeah it is the Galaxy 2019 rookie um, foam posit um, it has a glow-in-the-dark outsole, and then it has a print of the Galaxy throughout the whole shoe. So this is like a very rare gem, um, very hard to get um, in the Nike uh, Shock Drop pair. So um, this next pair is also a Shock Drop pair. This is the Air Jordan 1 uh, Miles Morales or Spider-Verse um, Next Chapter um, Chicago um, Spider-Man. So this was a shock drop pair. So um, this was released, I believe, in 2023, um, 22, kind of like um, towards the the end of 22, but in, going into 2023. So there was rumors about this shoe floating around um, through social media, through um, Instagram and all these um, social media outlets. So a lot of people were saying that there's a, a Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man shoe that people got their hands on or that it's rare um, in the sneaker culture. Um, so there was a, a Instagrammer by the name of Soul Savvy. Um, he was on Instagram um, displaying um, a pair of these that he had specially made or he had customized himself. And he was just calling it the Spider-Man Jordan 1. It had nothing to do with like the movie or the um, actual uh, Air Jordan 1 Spider-Verse. He just created his own like red and white Chicago version of like his Spider-Man um, custom. And then um, he went viral um, showing off the shoe to um, social media. And then um, the rumor got around that um he was selling pairs or he had custom pairs that he was giving to his friends or he was selling on his website whatever through his um his merchandise um outlet um and then um after he went viral he became like kind of famous for the guy with the spider-man air jordan ones um so at this point i kind of caught on to um the shoe and i kind of wanted the shoe and i reached out to the person but he did not uh, respond and I believe he didn't have um a social media outlet to to like reach to people that wanted the shoe so I kind of just gave up and then um uh Air Jordan uh Nike uh rumored that they were going to surface at Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man for Miles Morales or um Spider-Verse movie based on the movie um for Spider-Man so um after the guy who created his own custom shoe of the Spider-Man, he went viral uh, once again because he he was spotted wearing the actual pairs. And then he came out with women's um, versions um, and women's sizes. And then uh, Nike kind of surfaced that they were going to bring out their version of the Spider-Man. So I kind of just waited and waited. And then obviously that was just like news. Um, so as time went by, 2023, in the middle of like... Um, the year um, Nike did like a sketch up of the shoe to bring it out so I kind of just waited and waited and then um, the shoe started to surface at like sneaker events or like um, other people that were on social media started to um, see um, like promos or um, cut up copies of the shoe or like um, aftermarket unauthorized pairs so I kind of didn't want that pair I kind of just wanted to try to get a pair off of uh, Nike um, or Jordan. So I waited. So then um, the person that created the shoe, obviously 
his social media kind of just kind of just went away and um that's when Nike started to surface a rumor that a shoe was going to be released called the Spider-Man Miles Morales uh Spider-Verse next chapter Air Jordan 1 Chicago so I kind of just followed a lot of social media to find the shoe um and then the shoe was finally released on a certain day I believe it was like a Tuesday or Wednesday at like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. So you had like a chance to purchase the shoe. So I tried to purchase the shoe and I couldn't purchase it because it was sold out. So then I kind of just waited again for the shoe to actually be released on a certain day. So at this time, I knew the shoe was going to be rare. Um, and a lot of people that had their hands on the shoes were just selling the shoe and getting rid of it, saying that the shoe was trash, that it's just like scrapped it has this ugly look it's like paper all this bad social media about the shoe so then at that time um nike reached out to the guy who created the shoe and they gave him an opportunity to create another spider verse shoe so what he did was he um made a reverse shoe of it which was called the um prowler um jordan one utility um and he kind of just put his own touches into it and then um that was a uh, released through um a sneaker hunt in new york city through different um locations where you had to find the shoe to get the shoe so then um i couldn't get my hands on that shoe so i was just waiting for this shoe to release so during the time the shock drop um was on a tuesday and i didn't get the first uh drop of the shoe i kind of waited to see if i could get the release pair and then um social media dj khaled um he uh showed um pairs that he had gotten from nike um for his uh whole family like a full-size run and then um i kind of was just like oh i know the shoe's coming because he had pairs so um during that time i kind of just went into my own um like sneaker collection collecting or collection habit and just kind of reached out to other social um followers that had the shoe on ebay and then i kind of just summed it down to like certain pairs that i needed so i tried to get a hold of the nike pair the shock drop so i found uh, a couple of people that had them um then i kind of negotiated and then anonymously i just kind of purchased a pair so when the shoe was released again through nike through air jordan um on sneakers um it sold out again so then i kind of just struck out twice and then I had a pair already like processed in the mail um, that I already had had um, coming from overseas through a, another um, a reseller. So then um, when I finally got my hands on the pair, I kind of just um, knew I had gotten uh, my hands on the pair that um, was sold out or that was rumored to be released in a shock drop. So during the shock drop, there was a lot of errors and a lot of glitches in the system of the website to where people couldn't really um, say they got the shoe. But this is the actual pair. It's the Air Jordan 1, uh, Miles Morales, uh, Next Chapter, Spider-Verse, Chicago, uh, shock drop pair. So a little bit about this shoe. Um, it has different um, textures. Um, I'll do a review on this on, another, on the next video.